So one of the things that really bugs me are these script kitties. And I'm not talking about what you guys think about when I say script kitties. When people talk about script kitties on the internet, they're talking about people that claim to be programmers but are not really programmers. So the people that just use somebody else's dot files, config files, or the hacker that uses other people's pre-made exploits to hack into other people's machines. They can't actually write the exploit themselves. They can't actually write any scripts or programs themselves. They just use other people's work. They have a very cursory knowledge of programming. Those are what we call script kitties. And, and I would probably fall into that category. I am not a programmer at all. I know a little programming, enough to get by. But uh, I, I would consider myself a script kitty if I claimed to be a programmer. <laughs> I don't actually claim to be a programmer. I've never claimed that. But what really gets me is not the script kitties on the internet. What gets me is the script kitties in real life. And I'm talking about the people that claim to know in depth real life subjects and really have just a very surface level knowledge of things. So in real life, I often come across people that claim to have like authoritative knowledge on stuff and they don't know anything about what they're talking about. I, I don't know how many times I've talked to people about religious discussions, for example. How many people have you met that will tell you all about their particular faith? Let's take Christianity, for example. I've met many people that will tell me all about Christianity, you know, from a definitive point of view, like they know it all. And then when you ask them about certain books in the Bible or sections in the Bible, they haven't actually read the book, right? <laughs> so that would be what I would call a real life script kitty right there, or I'm going to call them a surface level person. Let's call, call them that. I see this a lot with religion. I see this a lot with political arguments, people that love to argue about politics all day on things like Twitter, you know, and these people that are arguing and, and both sides of the argument oftentimes have absolutely no idea about the subject, no in-depth knowledge about the subject they are actually arguing about. They're just surface level people. Again, they're just political script kitties. That's all they are. And that, I guess that's okay to be like that, but I don't know why people have to pretend they have knowledge that they don't, right? If you don't really know what the hell you're talking about, just admit you don't know what you're talking about. As a matter of fact, ask other people that maybe know more about that particular subject, hey, you know, I've got these thoughts about this, this subject, but I'm not sure if they're right. Can you help me out? Can you point me in the right direction? Can you point me in a direction of books to go read or, you know, sites to go check out or, or things like that? Some of my favorite real life script kitties well actually they're not even real life script kitties we'll call them surface level people again but they're online and that's the people that hang out on youtube so those are the people i often get them in the comment sections of my video telling me i was wrong about something i did on video I, i've had people definitively say hey what you just said here, and they'll even quote me word for word, that is 100% wrong. What you just said, the opposite of what you just said is actually true. And then I will sometimes take the time to go find factual evidence to back me up and post it, and I never get another response from those people. I never hear from them that say, oh, my bad, I was wrong, you were right. You know, oh, I jumped to some kind of conclusion or, hey, I really didn't know what the hell I was talking about when I made my comment, my bad, DT. You know, you never get those people. Anybody that is, for some reason can't admit when they're wrong or they've made a mistake, there's something really wrong with that person. You know, they've been damaged in some way. I, I've never understood people like that, but there's a lot of them on the Internet. Anyway, I, I don't want to ramble on too long. This is just something that <laughs> came to my mind and I just had to speak on it because I see too many people in real life, these real life script kitties, kind of like the script kitties that think they're programmers or, and are really not. These real life script kitties, these surface level people, right? Just because you attended church two Easter's ago doesn't mean 
you actually know anything about the Christian religion. Just because you changed your oil one time six months ago doesn't make you a car mechanic. So uh, keep that in mind when you're talking to other people, especially if you can't talk to people right, because some people really have an attitude when they put on this facade that you know they really have this in-depth knowledge about what they're talking about. And sometimes they get angry when you call them out on that. I don't want you guys to be that kind of person. That's, that's not the way to grow as a person, as an individual. You're never going to grow intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, what, however it is you want to grow as a person. You're never going to get there if you have that kind of mentality. Anyway, enough of my ramble. Peace, guys.